I'm making a second video on the inverted yield curve. My first video was uh, predicting the next crash using the inverted yield curve. And it was brought to my attention in that channel, in that video, that I wasn't taking into account what uh, the uh, yield curve did after it inverted. So I wanted to kind of cover that in this video. And as you can see with the red line, when after the yield curve inverted, it reached about 0.8 before a recession is was indicated with the gray box. And that happened in around the 2001 range. And then also you can see it in the 2008 and 9 range where uh, the recessions happen. But if you look at the red line for the 2021 era, we just reached that 0.8 um, uh, point. So I'm not saying that a, uh, a market crash will happen uh, tomorrow or anything like that, but it looks like we're getting in that territory where crash, uh, recessions tend to be, as is shown in the chart for the two previous recessions. And uh, the green line mostly indicates um the uh that's the beginning of the recession that like the highest point it reached at the beginning of the recession and that was about 1.7 ish and we're about at 0.8 right now so it's possible that it could go a little bit higher before a recession begins but it's um the the recession is shown to be at the 0.8 range so I think it's worth um, considering. Me personally, I would be taking some cash off the table, and that's that's what I did. But uh, the thing that complicates it a little bit is that we're uh, getting a lot of um, relief packages coming into play, and a lot of um, people have high savings right now, which could contribute to the stock market going up some more. And preventing a recession but looking at the yield curve on its own it looks like we're in that uh, in that spectrum where recessions tend to happen uh, following uh, the um, the yield curve inversion so just just wanted to add to my uh, original video I think this might add a little bit more uh, context to where we're at in the um, a more uh, a view from a, a longer uh, duration of time. So that that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Appreciate your time. Bye.